What's up, y'all? We got a family feed, so let's get to this tea. I got mine as y'all with me. So, y'all, we about to get into Messy Monday. All uh, right. That's all I got. Messy Monday. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P., you can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get Hey creeps and welcome back to Missy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POV and that is pretty on purpose. How are you doing? Y'all, I must say, I did not know it was that many Libras in this world. It is a shit ton of Libras and the Libras are laboring. Okay. I need y'all to go on a Libra to fire you. Now, I know y'all want me to do y'all a song, but for some reason my mind is not there today. But I do want to shout out my Libras. Y'all are some ride of that friends, and I fucks with y'all. But we gonna have to go on and stir it on down and get to this mess. I like Kia. That's it. Oh, but before oh. we... I forgot my other friend. We do... <laughs> I want y'all to give yourself a pat on the back. There is a lot oh, going on, like I always say, and I like it's to always say house. this at the beginning of every show because mm. there is wars going on across the world. Um, people are hungry. Some people are homeless, fighting depression. It's a lot of things going on, but you are here and you're here with me and we're sharing laughs. Even if you're laughing through pain, we're here and we made it through another week because you could be dead in your grave and wishing you had another day. So give yourself a pat on the back because I love you, love yourself, and God loves you too. Now, us of the world love a little mess. So let me go on and shout my friend out and that is Precious. Hey, bitch. Precious, thank you so much for having my post notification. Hey, y'all, we listen. To, I gotta be. Song girl, you were the first to comment on my Twitter post. I greatly appreciate that. That lets me know that you are always ready to see what the hell I gotta say. And I love that, and it makes me love you. So continue to support me, friend. And I'm gonna have them come over there and support you. Hey, bitch. Okay, y'all already know what time it is. Y'all favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First, the sugar honey iced tea. We have Hill Nicole and Taylor Swift. Now, child, let me tell y'all, this is. Messy. For those who don't know, Kayla Nicole is Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend. They had an on and off relationship from what, 2017 to May of 2022. They finally broke it up because there was this rumor where he said he wanted her to go half on things and they said allegedly she got mad about it. Now he came back and he said that was not true. She was wealthy on her own. She didn't need him, had her own endeavors, whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So child, now he is the global pop star, Taylor Swift. Now y'all know them Swifties could be a whole lot, a whole lot of like, them are some young, evil ass children who just like the bully, 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 bully. Now don't y'all come bullying me because I will just ignore it and keep it pushing. But Hello. I fuck with Thang. Me For too. some apparent reason, his exes had got brought up who he dated. Y'all know how to keep up to keep up. And child, y'all started the mess. So they said, how did you go from Kayla Nicole to Taylor Swift? That was a downgrade. Then some were saying him going from Kayla Nicole to Taylor Swift was an upgrade. So y'all know this Swifties got real defensive, honey, and they went and they attacked this woman. She said nothing had nothing to do with it, and she got attack, attack, death threats, and things like that. So she came out, and this is what she said. Hey, guys. Kayla here. It's always been really important for me to use my platform not to create division, but to elevate and unite women, black women specifically. So I prepared a letter and would like to share it with you today. Dear black girl, they may call you a traitor for falling in love. You'll hope the ones closest will protect you, but you will quickly find out that people don't protect what they don't value. That's why They'll we need to learn to protect our damn too self. Too provocative, too Fair. boisterous, too outspoken. And in the same breath tell you that you're not enough, not successful enough, not wholesome enough, <coughs> maybe not even intelligent enough. 
They'll say you deserve the backlash and embarrassment because of your blackness, you should have known better. They'll even try to tie your value to your net worth. But black girl, please remember your value lies elsewhere. Your value is deep within your heart. Now, baby, y'all know the comments is gonna eat her up. They said, no, girl, how can you sit here and talk about dear black girl when you out here dating a whole white man? Okay. I said, now, y'all need to be ashamed but of But nah, for real. Because it's insane to receive hate and judgment for loving someone outside your race, but to also receive it within your race is messed up. I feel love is love, despite whoever you date. Now, you can be in them comments all day, battling with somebody back and forth, back and forth. It's just you and maybe three other people. But when you have thousands and millions of people in your DMs every day, every second, every minute, every hour, just telling you, fuck you, die, you ain't worth it, your network ain't this, you look like that, you ain't good enough to be with him, you should have known better to be with him. Girl, why you think this was gonna work? He white, you black. All of this, everybody isn't built to withstand that type of pressure, that type of energy. Taylor should at least came out and said, I have no problem with this woman. Why are y'all attacking her? It's like no celebrity ever Child, said- Taylor Swift probably don't see that shit, to be honest. And I guarantee you she don't. <laughs> Real shit. And tells their fandom to stop. You'd be surprised how much influence you have over your fandoms or supporters or fans or whatever you want to call them if you just say something, but to sit back and allow Damn, people to just attack someone. This woman is crying out, letting y'all know, I'm getting attacked, I'm getting death threats, and no one is saying anything. But if we be a messy or messy minded, <laughs> child, the streets were saying, you were saying, dear black girl, when you was with me. <laughs> <laughs> they say, don't call us. Don't call us. <laughs> they don't call so I'm driving now. home in you Atlanta and shit. I'm pulling into the side crib and she's a lady. Her sign yeah, says homeless that. but not useless, Nigga. right? What? So I'm like, damn, go in my wallet. Where is this coming from? You move. I, I, I ain't gotta do it. Now, if you want to get down to the nitty gritty, Maya brought herself into this situation, his other ex, but Kayla was dragged to hell. Now, also, when people want to say, how is this about race? Baby, when them folks said that uh, Travis went back to his roots, bitch, that's motherfucking racist, honey. So, child, y'all can mix with all that bullshit. And the funny thing is, this woman has been dragged for years just for loving a white man. Loving a white man. And now that she's done with a white man, she still get a drag. You know, girl, you, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Mm. God damn it. <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's keep it next case. Next, Mr. Honey Ice Tea, we have Juicy. And the first thing I want to say is, girl, go lay. We are so tired of you and your input. It's always something, 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 and how you feel. Man, if he ain't whining, he whining while he's singing. And at this point, go lay. So y'all know Drake and Joe Biden have been going back and forth with each other about their little situation. So Tuesday decided to come out and put his little two cents in, and this is what he said. I'm gonna be real. I hate how these people with these podcasts doing Drake. We got people in their mid thirties talking about how they can't resonate with his music no more. How they used to be a Aubrey's angel. You're in your in mid thirties. No, he's not. Mm -mm. Joe Button almost fifty. Definitely mid forties for sure. If anything. What the fuck? You don't even know what you're talking about. Get what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't. You're no longer in college dating a f***ed up guy who you in in a dorm room cuddling toes with and you don't got nowhere else to Not go. And why he toes. taking up for Drake? <laughs> so you got to deal with all your problems while living with this. Like These niggas really be fans. For real. Yo, you're, you're no longer living that lifestyle. Huh? The, the music is not supposed to. You're in your mid-30s, okay? Music's not supposed to resonate. It's not supposed to resonate with you. He's not making music for for mid thirty year olds. He's not. Now, if the younger crowd don't like the album, all right, that's what it is. But why is people like what the fuck? It's not y'all not pull it. like. I don't know, man. Tuesday, first of all, bitch, you try it. You're in your mid thirties. <laughs> well, motherfucker, drinks in his thirties. You dumb. Thank you, Zoe. 
I really was like, yo, I was really like baffled by the mid thirties statement. Because A, Drake is absolutely in his mid-30s. B, what the fuck they got to do with the music? And then came in with false information because Joe Budden is almost 50. Got to be. If not, he's at least 45. That's almost 50. Okay. But anyway. 36, stupid. <laughs> Nigga. Oh, <laughs> it's so dumb. Okay. If you put this much energy into your music, then maybe we will listen to you. But you ain't even doing shit with your shit. <laughs> worry about your fans instead of worry about what his fans are saying. Ignorant fuck. Ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, bitch, you weren't shooting in the gym when we were shooting with Drake. Bitch, we was out there. We are the poor fans. We are the ones that got Drake where he Hello? is. Hello? Us, the mid-30s. The mid-30s, bitch. bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you was still in the womb with your young ass. Tender dick ass, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hell, we did that. <laughs> we did that, and we just want to see growth. Oh, Don't be, it's shit. cool to be in it for the money, but still oh, grow with your artists. We the oh, one buying tickets. <laughs> we doing that. We going to the concert. Okay, we trickling away because them is all for the children. So then we buy the tickets for our children. <laughs> oh, real shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> what are you talking about? And y'all so motherfucking fickle, bitch. Let him do something wrong. Y'all gonna cancel him tomorrow. So you set your motherfucking ass up and your motherfucking way. We're not saying the man can't make the music for children. The nerve of him to be calm right after he say that. As well, that's fun. Give them some stuff to listen to. But also remember your core audience with, who, who came up with you, who started with you. All the folks in our age group are saying is, damn, throw us a little something. Get, can we get some bread, bro? <laughs> I can't stand it. You talking about still laying up in the dorm? Nigga, you don't even go to college. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you need to go to college. And we ain't talking about the grass Hey, stop <sighs> fucking dick riding. I think you saying this bullshit because you know your shit sound the same fucking way. You done made love cycle in different lyrics about 50 fucking different times. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, my man. It's tired of you, too. <laughs> piss me off. If people keep saying, in the 30s, in the 30s, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so glad he said that. Y'all, this nigga Moo is 28. This nigga Moo was trying to explain something about a nigga that he think is older, like 30-something. He thought I was 20-something. This nigga like, you know, nigga might be old or something, like 30-something. I said, nigga, I'm 34. He was like, swear to God. I said, nigga, you 28 and two fucking a year and what? A year and some change. You about to be the same fucking age. Nigga, matter of fact, when we was 28, we was saying, God damn, boy, I'm almost 30, boy. That damn near 30. Nigga, at least 30. Yeah. You already 30. If you're 28 here and you're in my chat, you're 30, bitch. If you're 25 and you're in my chat, you're 30. You're 30. Guess what? In school, they told us anything rounded after five would be okay. what? It will be 30. No, it will be 10, honey sauce. But yeah. No, it was well, you said you said 25, right? Oh, no, I said 10. But you oh, get my what bad. I'm saying. I missed that. It's okay. Round it up, hon. When I turn 36, start me 35, I'm gonna be almost 40, nigga. At least 40. Okay? Okay. That's just it. With your old ass is calling us old, bitch. We in the same category, okay? Nah. Category. You heard what I said. Do y'all get in y'all thirties? I want to see if y'all sexy reds are still talking about pound pound fuck this. <laughs> I want to see if y'all other folks are still talking about slaying dope, doing that, and all this other whatever the fuck. I just want to see are y'all still gonna make the music for your children so then the folks can talk about you saying, "Oh, you all still doing this? You all still doing that?" I, I cannot wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't That's what I'm saying. 34 looking 20. Some at least. Okay? Listen, it's all good. 
I can't wait. Let's see how many of these rappers are still around when they 30, 35, 36. We're going to see. And then about me, I hope you get to see 30 next week. Okay. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, <laughs> we have Lil Scrappy and Eric. Now, child, this is delusional at its finest. Now, Scrappy responds to a comment after he shares a video of him and Erica at a luau for her birthday. Now, in the comments, as you can see, somebody has said a man's revenge is a woman and a woman's revenge is a bigger bag. So then Scrappy comes back and he very much says what he needs to say. He's like, man, y'all move on, whatever, whatever the case may be. Remember, she got her kickback. She's with a dude already. She just ain't told y'all. If y'all want to go cheer her up, whatever, whatever, go to her page. Now, what I feel is going on is he tipping back down memory lane because now he's upset that Miss Bambi done move on. Because you was just apologizing to Bambi. And now you out in Hawaii with a luau with Erica. When let's not forget, even though Erica did leave him, you disrespected this woman for years on years on years. And then he was just doggy talking about child support when he wasn't even taking care of the baby either. And then you back with him. Girl, y'all meant to fuck each other all this over a woman. This woman down there came blow for blow with your mama and then y'all over here lollygagging and smiling like shit ain't happening. Yeah, people can grow up, you can grow. But honey, y'all, honey, one thing a man gonna do is go back to his ex, baby. Y'all better learn that. But let me tell you something, a ship that sails backwards Never see the sunset. How are you doing? And what the street's saying? Erica got cheated on with Diamond and could potentially make a comeback after Diamond. <laughs> and y'all, can we talk about something? Let me tell y'all something. Tell something. Is she the run back girl? Because when Diamond left, he ran back. And then he played her with Shane. Now, she takes him back after Bandy. That ain't no idea. But I it's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. Now, after all that was going on, Eric comes out and she explains how her and Scrappy are just cool. Me and Money's father are cool. We are family. We're in a, a good space. Some of y'all be some weirdos. Like, I'm big on accountability moving forward. No, uh, you can't tell us y'all ain't um dipped in a little sex. They might not have. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this because I hear... uh. One of them artists in the back. If you just want a little <laughs> Disney, just say that. Okay. Your child okay. is grown. Y'all do not, not have to go on vacation to do this. <laughs> to co parent. Girl, miss us with that, baby. Miss. And then to co parent a grown child. <laughs> Y'all, that child about what, 20 ain't she, she in college? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gotta be about 19. Child, please. Fuck, it. Fuck it. Let her help her cousins. <laughs> with his groceries on her vacation. Let her do that. Cause baby, we is not falling for that. We got a child together bullshit when the child is like 18 up years old, baby. That child is spending for them, <laughs> spending for themselves Word. right now. Y'all love throwing y'all children into y'all bullshit. <laughs> Leave them children out y'all mad. It's just mighty funny to me how y'all can be cool now. Uh-huh, and oh, it's a co-parent. We gotta worry about children. No little boy. But when he was married, y'all could stand each other. So my question is, what type of cool are we? I ain't going on no vacation with my baby daddy if we not together. So let's just be honest. Y'all are cool because he's no longer with Bambi. She don't like Bambi. He's divorced to her, and that's why she's okay and comfortable with him. Let's stop playing motherfucking games around this motherfucker. And she and let's okay. be real. Erica is a Libra. And what y'all gonna motherfucking do when y'all Libra is y'all gonna say, hey, go on and have them, be with them, whatever, knowing full and goddamn well that that motherfucker ain't going no goddamn well. You but I'm leaving alone. What is done in the dark will come to the light, and we're gonna leave it at that. Spin it how you want. If it ain't about me, <laughs> let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Jada and her sister, Jess. Now, Jada speaks on her relationship with her sister, Damn, Jess, and why like she them. decides to love her from afar. And then, not only that, she claps back at a critic who asked her, okay, well, why don't you have that same energy for the person from her previous relationship? So, when she claps back about the sister situation, she goes in depth and she just says, hey, I love my sister, but sometimes, you have to remove yourself from people because she has tried over and over and over again with her sister, but she feels as though her sister lets the internet trolls and the comments influence her and she does the same thing 
every time. So then she goes on and she says her sister plays with her in public, but she would never do her like that. And her sister knows that, and that's why her sister comments on certain posts and likes things, um, because she knows Jada won't go to that level. She ends it with, I love her death. I will be there for her, do whatever for her, but they just cannot be together. And then the comment about the relationship was, girl, shut up, have that same energy towards that nigga. He embarrassed and humiliated you for years and you let him run back. Give him the same- So Jada was the one who had to uh, be at a distance from her sister. It mm -hmm. wasn't the sister. Oh, I'm thinking it's the sister that said that, but nah, they right. You give well, your First of all, they had a child together, and uh, your sister and your baby daddy, that's two different things. Blood. And then she goes, she says, the shit I give and expect my sister will never compare to what I expect from a nigga. Now, Jada, I'ma just say this. Yes, we do hold our family, which is cousins, mom, dad, and everybody to a higher standard. So that is why, yes, it is going to hurt us more. It is going to make us be upset more than it will with somebody else, like a friend betraying you. But you don't turn your back. Y'all work it out. Y'all fix it. Y'all understand where it went wrong. Like you said, you can expect that from this person. You can expect them to do you like that. So it should be easy for you to say, well, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you want to have that loyalty, but fuck you. I ain't got no ties to you besides this baby, but anything else, fuck you. Now I will agree if someone keeps doing it over and over and over and over again, I do agree. I don't care who you- I've cut family off before I've cut anybody off. Mm -hmm. So I disagree with that because ain't no telling what the hell her sister done done. And family will do you the worst, y'all. Even with little baby cheating on her and all that because as you can see, Jaden still with some women just do that. They just get cheated on consecutively. Not only that, without giving hall passes, without getting some extra mm -hmm. dick on the side, just all that. Some women just really, really will continue to let it. That ain't her pain. You get what I'm saying? Him cheating on her like that, that's just not her biggest pain. Her sister probably asking her for money all the time, piss her off way more than that. That's all I'm saying. You are. <clears throat> I don't care if you my mama, my daddy, who you are. If you continue to disrespect me and, and- Jazz got jumped because of Jada. And bring me turmoil and trauma. I will cut anybody off for my peace. I can love you from afar. And maybe that's what you're saying. Maybe stuff is happening that we don't know behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But yes, I will have to love you from afar. But um, the word on the curve. Is this right here? The back in 2015, 16, that your sister was having your back no matter what. She was there for you and riding for you. Even with the war with these ladies when they came in and took your shop upside down. And they said, You left your sister for dead. Then they said, Don't act like you ain't dogged your sister out, friend. Now, I don't know. I didn't really get into all the mess like that back then. But this is what the streets is saying. Then they go on and say, On impact, you used your sister for a storyline and yada, yada, yada. Damn. Whoop, so. I don't know if it's a tip for tat thing or you and your sister have some unfinished business that y'all need to work out and figure out. But the streets is also saying that they feel that y'all parents had something to do with this. They said your daddy mm -hmm. funded your business and your endeavors and things like that. Then your mama always treated you like you was the golden child. And you never know. Sometimes that can make a child feel some type of way. Like, what do y'all see in Jada that I don't have and I'm doing the same thing? Like, what is it? And it can cause a love hate between you and your sister because of your parents. And it's not even y'all hating each other. It's what it's someone it. else has created in the midst of it that has pulled y'all apart. And maybe y'all need to sit down and say, it hurt me how mom and dad believed in you and did this and pushed you and felt like I was nothing. Maybe y'all need to sit down and talk about that instead of just saying, this is how I feel. This is what I feel like. I don't feel like you did that. Nah, 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 nah. It's always I, 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 me, 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 me. And not, Camera. well, I understand how you feel. So I don't know, child. I hope they figure this out because I don't like to see family fussing with each other because I, I love my family. Yeah, we may go through our ups and downs, but one thing about it, it may last two, three, four, five months. We're going to find our way back to each other. And one thing about it, don't fuck with my family, though, if it ain't about me. Let's kick in the case.
All right, you guys, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have Trina versus Bad Ass Flow. Now, baby, yeah. this is disgusting because it is the month of October, which is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and mm -hmm. honey, I ain't here for it. I don't know how all this started. I don't know how long this has been going on, but word on the curb is it's been going on for a long time, and there has been signs of it. My eyes fucked the... up. It's her fault. Get them guys in my mouth. Eyes in my fault. Look at her eyes. Come on, look eyes. Yeah, I feel and hit my face. Falling and hitting your face and it look like a black eye. I can't believe y'all even fell for that shit. I don't watch their videos, but I can't believe y'all fell for that. <laughs> That's crazy. But stay still. Look, so look, it's not right here and not right here. So look, I'm trying to see where you hit it at. Look, so look, close it. So I just want she hit the corner. Oh, that's your piercing, my bad. So she hit the corner of her eye. Stop touching it, it hurts. Well, she hit the corner of her eye and it got the whole little eye. Hey, tell her, give me some fire, guys, man. She's not trying to give me no fire. I done damn sure hit the corner of the TV and it pissed me the fuck off, but I ain't look like I had a black eye. All right, I just told you, the other eye finna be black. I don't know, bro. It look kind of weird. Hey, bro, you gonna stop screaming at me for real? Ah, your other eye be black. Are you in the bathroom? You gonna hit? I can beat your ass right now. Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, I've been taking whoop that nigga. Whoop that nigga. Whoop that nigga. Whoop that nigga. Whoop your ass right now. Whoop that nigga. This is gonna be. You can't see. Ooh. Stop grabbing my bag like that. Why would you put them back in the purse? Oh, we use kind of went the what the fuck else do? Oh. Damn! Stop playing with me. Who is we all? Who is we all? I told you I was fucking Who is with we? this nigga. Oh my God, it's so bad, especially after you know the truth now. That just looks so much worse. Who is we all? 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 So Karina had took to her social media and she had posted up some pictures of the incident of what happened. And I'm just like, ain't no way. You being a man could not control your anger enough to where you did this to a woman? That is ridiculous. And he had the nerve to say, don't believe everything you see. Well, nigga, what the fuck we supposed to believe? <laughs> okay, Who the fuck child. did she fell down the flight of stairs? <laughs> okay. She beat her all that? That's what pissed me off. Why the hell do y'all not just keep your mouth shut instead of saying, don't believe everything? Let me see your face. <laughs> If your shit ain't looking like that, then nigga, there ain't no reason okay. for her face to look like that. I need you to have a gash on your face, a Some. knot on your head, Some. your okay. throat, a little Some. split, something. Okay. Oh, or the nigga split. needed to go to the burn unit. Okay. Because I done burned his ass with grease. Okay. Dead ass serious. What the fuck is wrong with niggas? Women, women think they only got to, you know what I'm saying, You or have certain weapons. Child, get you some oil and some hot water. <laughs> beat the fuck up to missing for her face to look like that. Don't believe everything you see. And that pissed me off the most. This one right here. Oh, nigga, like you had to like, man, like, you know, punch her. <sighs> Don't believe everything you see. That's cool. Boy, you got me fucked up. Keep playing with me. And I swear to God, you gonna see some flow. I swear. Now it just makes sense about the video she made a while back with the black eye and tried to say she ran into something. Ladies, y'all gotta stop protecting these men. And then for the women in the comments to say, oh baby, there's something else behind this. You must have put your hands on him. I don't give a damn. It ain't no reason to be nobody senseless like this. What if she nigga been going senseless. outside like ain't shit ever happened? He going around lying about what the happened, so now I'm finna tell the truth. I, I hate to even have to do this shit. But what you're not going to do is live like you ain't do this to me. I promise you, you're going to feel me. Stop playing with me. Man, you could be in jail right now for me how you fuck with me. How you played in my face like you played in my face, bitch. Everybody needs to know the real love. He keeps saying that shit ain't happen like this. Some hit me in my... No. Every time, every scratch, every bruise, every dot, every speck on my face is from him punching me in my shit like I'm a nigga going in my shit. Stop playing with me. That nigga put his hands on me. He punched me in my face over and over and over again. And no matter what I was doing, I'm a girl. Yes, I fight. Yes, I'm a fighter. But I'm not it matters. no nigga like this. 
He could have restrained me if anything. She gotta, and she I'll, gotta stop saying it don't matter what I do because I'm a girl. Because bitches hit hard too, but nah, he ain't have to do all that. All I was doing was defending myself, and I could barely even do that. I was in that house asking for help. I was in that house. I didn't even want to go to the house. This nigga made me go to the house. What he, he not gonna do is get on here acting like he's a good person, y'all, because he's the devil. Any that fucks with him after this, it's dumb. You a retard. And he gonna beat the too. That nigga dead ass almost fucking killed me. And y'all gonna sit here and oh my god. Da -da 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 -da. Bitch, y'all gonna see. The real flow is gonna come out soon. And why do you think nobody else is him? We all know the real flow. Keep clowning me. Flow deserves to be in jail. Flow deserves to be in hell. Just like fucking Croshawn said, bitch. You're going to jail in hell, bitch. That nigga still have not made sure I was good since he did this to me. That nigga could have killed me that night. My whole nose is broken. It's her. And this nigga still and did shit. It's her. It's her wanting him. Girl. It's her wanting him to make sure she was good. Lets me know she still want him. I still think she do. But I think if he would have checked on her and just owned up to her, she'd be right back with him, y'all. No mm. cap. Cause she's don't that sound like a woman that still want him? Mm. She don't sound like she ready to leave. So I wouldn't be surprised if she was on his phone next week. And then y'all know what he gonna say? See, she's saying I did all this to her, but what woman want to get back with an animal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what woman want to get back with a nigga who beat on her? Mm -hmm. I guarantee. I guarantee. <laughs> to make sure I'm good, all he could do is go outside and party like the shit ain't never happened. And then outside telling people that I'm capping, I'm delusional, all this shit. Money, I'm not delusional about shit. And one thing about me, I can handle my liquor. Floyd cannot, y'all. This man is addicted to alcohol. He turns into a different person every time he's bro. drunk. And I promise you, everybody can witness. PJ, let's go. Did this nigga not put me in a whole fucking truck and take me to the PJ, house? PJ, let's Be go. Yeah. The motherfuckers put me in a truck and took me to that house when I said I do not want to go there. I told the, the, the bodyguard, I said, do not take me to that house. Do not take me to that house. They forced me to that house, bro. Took my phone for hours. I'm getting my ass beat for hours with no phone. Can't call nobody. Can't get no help. Bitch, I'm telling it all. Fuck you. Both was just not the, like, I, she would tell you, bro. I was on the phone with this girl earlier, and she told people this. She told people this, and people could vouch. I swear to God, she told people this. She said every time me and Flo got into it or something happened, I put my hands on him first. Act. Karina would tell you, I have a problem with putting... We know. We know. But you beating the hell out of her just don't suffice, Flo. Put my hand on niggas. I, that's how I... That's how I, shit. I put my hand on people. That's how I do. Karina would tell you this. She would tell you this. That's how I go about things. I put my hand on people. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Just keep it real. Don't just get on this scene like, oh, brother, just... I'm just hitting... I'm just doing all this and this and that. Man, come on, man. How long can you take? How long is it going to take to pull your hair? She God, is you, upset that just, he's just, not just, reaching out. That's her biggest problem. He still ain't admitted what he did to me. I, I would love for him to be like, yes, I did it. I, I did do it. What's up? She'd probably be like, that's all I wanted. Now we could probably go to counseling. Mm -hmm. I just needed him to recognize what he to did to me. It. Yeah. And now they can go to counseling or something. Girl, She's not over shit. him. She don't want another woman to have him. If, if any other you women fuck with him, y'all stupid. That's damage control because she trying to say he'll go around beating all these women when he did not touch Kiana, nor did he touch Nooney. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> and you say she pressed charges. I want to see that because I don't believe her. And when does that ever matter? Yeah, for her pressing charges don't matter. She, it's like she waited to press charges when all her marks went away. I okay. don't know if she did it when when it happened. Like I don't think she she never said she did. And her I'm video now saying, she look brand new. It's plenty of people that do things like that, have restraining orders and all things like that, and still go around the people that they're not supposed to be around. And you know, Great. it doesn't matter until until you find the wreck. But like you know, what I'm saying like I say, we all. She was drunk, I'm drunk, but it's like, I didn't just start out just fighting this girl, but on my soul. It's deeper, but I ain't trying to get into details to the whole night because. So then, once mm -hmm. it all hit the internet, and she had posted those pictures, you know, he's in the group filming over everything with Jazz, Jordan, and all them. 
Jazz ended up putting out a statement, and this is what she said right here. Basically stating that she doesn't condone domestic violence and so on and so forth and yada, yada, yada. And to me, I'm like, okay, cool, great. She spoke out because mind you, you live in your house. Hit and flow with scissors. Watching him breaking stuff, slapping him and all. Okay. So I'm not saying that. I, I always tell y'all, hit her back. But what he did still was not called for. Forcing her to stay in the closet, not called for. Punching her in the car when she trying to leave, not called for. That shit wasn't called for. I get what you're saying, but all this wasn't called for. And what kind of pissed me off is you mean to tell me y'all never saw none of this? Y'all never saw no signs? Like, don't speak up But I now believe you. Because it done hit the internet. Where mm. was it when it was happening in the house? You get what I'm saying? Like, that house tends to have this type of situation going on a little bit too much. And what did piss me off is when everybody... Mm-hmm. Come on now. The same shit. You caught me, bro. Come on now. You caught, now. you caught me. <laughs> I did watch it without y'all. I ain't lying. Um, what happened? What he just say? I missed that. Everybody did the same damn statement. Oh, yeah. Y'all can come up with your own words. That right. to me just feels like that's insensitive. Right. You don't really give a fuck. You don't okay. really give a damn. No, they didn't really give a fuck because they wasn't fucking with each other in the first place. None of them were liking each other. So... They, they wasn't trying to be loyal at this time because they felt like he was being disloyal. It's a lot to this shit. It's just let me save my face and let me clear my name and so nobody cancels me. Because ain't no fucking way I'm going to sit here and put this up after somebody else wrote it and y'all going to think I'm sincere about the motherfucking situation. Ain't no goddamn way. Okay. And then the post, the post, one person posted, one person posted and unfollowed me. Everybody posted and unfollowed me. Make their own statement. Why one? Why it take for one person to post and unfollow me for everybody to do it? Why? It was probably jazz. Oh yeah, she said she wanted. She the reason why she was trying to fight. She wanted to fight everybody who was around me after that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I talked to Karina, and like, and me personally, I've been falling back from. I put this on my soul. Right hand guy, you guys. Uh, man, I ain't trying to put it. Man, you can ask Karina. You can ask Karina. Your I've been falling back. I've been falling back. I've been telling her, yeah, I'm finna get my own. I'm finna, I'm finna do this. I just feel, I don't just feel right now. I feel like it's some shit. You know, and I just feel like, I even told my like, yeah. Brother, I'm, I'm, man, I'm finna do my own. So then somebody in the comments <laughs> that came from Jordan was like, Jordan, um, you might want to sit this one out. Definitely. And that's when Karina came up. Ain't that her name, Sierra, whatever her name is. I think Sierra, she came up and she tried to defend them. And I was like, sister, bitch, did you forget everything you. you used to say? Because mm -hmm. then y'all was on Missy Monday day after day after day after day. So, girl, you might want to hush, too. Seen, and that's when the people long. brought back up her shit. And they embarrassed her. Huh? Want to slap me, bitch? Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Stop stepping up to me. I dare you. I dare you. I ship a dog, there you go. Touch me if you want to. Touch me if you want to. So then they go and they make a mockery out of it. They, they joke about, you know, putting him out and his room is available. And this is what they put up. Uh, I look at the computer. The computer say, Floyd say, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? He will put uh, some music on him. Oh, okay. Saying, I ain't tripping, my brother ain't trying to ruin his image. So you know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to ruin his image, so I'm not to ruin his image. Because I promise you, if that would have happened to that, if that would have happened to that, I would have never posted no like that. Nigga. I would have never in my life posted no like that. Nigga, 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 I brought my brother to Houston. I got my brother doing YouTube shit. I, got, I, I really changed my little brother life, man, for real. Like, my little brother, you feel what I'm saying? He told, that's what he told me. He ain't want to fuck with me. So when he told me that, I'm like, okay, cool, brother. Well, at it, least he kept it hot with him. I ain't know he told him. Hey. That shit would happen to you, nigga. I promise y'all. Y'all not understanding why these niggas made the TikToks and all that, y'all. 
They made it because Flo was behind the scenes talking shit to other niggas. Period. That's what I keep trying to tell y'all. That was their whole reason. Like, nigga, you just imagine you living with a nigga. You jazz put the nigga on respectfully. And you talking to the niggas who I knew way before you talking shit about us. Nigga, fuck you. So this is why. This is why they did all that, y'all. Right. He was talking greasy about everybody. Waking up in the morning, leaving, not telling nobody. Where not he had working gone with him at all. all. Day, coming back just to sleep at night. Like, and he who even does said that? that. He yeah. even said that. He said, Y'all see, I, don't, I wasn't fucking with niggas like that anyway. He even admitted to it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't understand what people expected anyway. They wasn't fucking with each other. Nope. And I don't know why he expected some type of loyalty, not from his brother, but from the rest of them niggas, when he wasn't fucking with them neither. Right. I don't understand that. I would have never posted no shit like that. I would have never in my life posted no shit like that. I get what he's saying about his brother. I'm talking and about everybody else. Saying, though. It is what it is. Everybody just ain't through it, you know what I'm saying? Karina didn't do anything. I didn't do shit, y'all. I caught this nigga doing something. I caught him doing something. He wanted to fight me. I caught him. Bro. From the whole beginning of the night, Flo is an ancient ass nigga. He let a nigga punch me in my face and did not do shit about it. Uh, Flo is because not Mike's his real bro. don't do shit. My nigga, you your own man. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, can't no motherfucker walk up to Karina. They let a random nigga me. punch me in my face. And that's how I knew I was done with Flo in the first place. Because you said it's cool. Don't come on this bitch and make it seem like she's just a bad person. Because she's not a bad person at all, you feel me? But it's like, I got dreads pulled out my head and shit like that and all that shit. You don't see me on this, man. She pulled my dreads out. She do. She tried to do this. She's breaking this. She's doing. No, I ain't on this doing all that. You know why? Because at the end of the day, I'm not bringing nothing to the meeting. I don't want nobody in my business. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is. Though. Like I said, I told my side of the story. It is what it is. I ain't got nothing else to say about this. Shit. I'm, I'm straight on it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm straight on it. You can ask any nigga I be around, bro. I'm a thorough, bro. I'm a thorough. So child blows ex-girlfriend Noonan, Nunu, whatever. She come out and she had to say this. Now Flo's ex Noonie posted a statement because people kept asking her was she ever abused. She also wasn't here for the little skit that uh -huh. Jazz and the crew posted. So she states, everybody in my DM asking me questions regarding Flo and I can only speak for myself. Flo never put hands on me. I'm not saying what happened said, ain't I can speak up, for myself. but mm -hmm. everybody trying to kick him while he down. It's just funny to me because y'all claim y'all family. It's tatted and all. You know what this gives me? He live with her right now? He was live at Noonie Career. Oh, um, he lived with her is what you're saying. I know y'all. You know, you know what that gives me though? It, it's giving me Noonie. Um, Noonie still like love flow you know it's what i'm no, saying any woman that'll come out and vouch against the nigga who put hands on a woman but granted he didn't put hands on her it is he what it is that. he didn't do that to me oh nope. she absolutely still care for him and that's okay ain't nothing wrong with that but i just feel like that's why she taking up for the nigga because she wanted him back anyway on the low law I, I really think that for real this the same issue. They love each other, but the nigga just toxic. I tried when I left that week a house. Everybody in that house be on some weird ish. Please don't do too much, cause I've been ready. And then Noonie don't like none of the people in the house. I I feel like she probably left the house cause of them, not Flo for real. Then she states, all I'm saying is clowning your family for clicks and laughs when you literally have done worse. It's so crazy to me. People do whatever to save their own name. I'm sick of the lame-ish. Everybody too grown for real. If you so bad and tough, then be bad and tough. Don't try to push out one bad person so the rest don't get exposed. Girl, you was better off not saying a motherfucking thing because to me that is insensitive. Just because he never did that to you don't mean he didn't do it to this person right here period it can be insensitive though she don't owe that girl nothing so i kind of disagree with that but i feel what he's saying everybody has their own relationships now i could see you standing up for him with his friends turning their back on him and not being good friends and not saying hey you were wrong what you did was fucked up let's get you some help i understand that so instead of going on the internet making a joke out of it embarrassing him just kicking him out the house 
What, but what they're doing is they're just saving faith. But to put your two sisters and say, wait, he ain't do this to me? Well, girl, luckily. And not only that, Funny Mike came out and this is what he had to say. You supporting Flo? Y'all yeah, crazy. Cause a lot of this shit didn't go how y'all think that shit went. That's all I'm gonna say. And whoever don't like me cause I'm standing with them. All right, like I said, I don't condone any shit, but shit happens, man, with relationships and why we around. I don't know what happened. I didn't see that shit with my own eyes. I was too busy getting into it with my So what? Me and I was getting into it. I don't know what the had going on when I left. I was in my own truck. But anyway, whoever don't like me, because I'm standing with them, hey, fuck you. Just don't disrespect me. You don't disrespect me and shit. We cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know. I'll let he say, she say shit, man. I ain't with all that. If you don't like me, just let me know that. Yeah, because a lot of that shit ain't go how that shit was supposed to go. That shit went, man. It's a whole lot of, that is a whole deeper story to that whole night. But I'm not gonna explain myself. Nigga don't fuck him. That's how I'm coming. Just don't play with me. So now apparently Funny Mike and Jalea were getting into it that night as well. So Funny Mike is stating, I don't know what all happened, but people mess up and he's standing with him. Now, obviously Funny Mike only knows what Flo has told him, but he did also confirm in that live that no, he didn't buy Flo in a apartment. Now I love me some Funny Mike. I do. I love some Funny Mike, but Mike, I have to disagree. I, I have to disagree. Yes, people go through their stuff. Yes, people go through their situations and things like that. But it's, men need to start holding their homeboys accountable for not knowing how to control their anger. These are women. Yes, women might say some things or even push you to that level to want to do something. Walk away. Women, you need to walk away. Stop pushing men, putting your fingers in their face. But at, at the end of the day, a man is strong. Funny Mike was coming from a biased place already because him and um, yeah, he, his girl always going through it. That he was just say it was dope. He it was that was just bias. He ain't mm -hmm. he's not on a woman's side right now because he can't get his relationship together. Oh, you're powerful, so your hits are going to hurt. There is no excuse. I don't care for you to put your hands on a woman. And for y'all to sit here and not hold your homeboys and friends accountable for this stuff is sick. But then y'all want to sit here and say, nobody better touch my daughters. Y'all have daughters, sisters, mothers. What if somebody did that to y'all mother and sister? Where's the O? It's just me and people go through their stuff. I go through this with my... Nah, y'all want to kill niggas then. But anyway, child, I don't know. This is a hard, a whole lot. Of, and I, it just sucks that men cannot control their anger. Men are just getting weaker and weaker and weaker as the years go by. Like, what happened to men? Like, I know I can't say it because I'm, you know, I'm a little sister girl. I'm a little, you know, I have feminine. But I will never put my hands on no woman. And I even... Act and portray to be like women. I ain't even put my hands on women, but y'all niggas put y'all hands on women. Child, I don't know. Sick to me. If it ain't about me, let's kick it. Let's egg. Next one, I get we have Jazz and Tay. Now, honey, the streets is screaming because I think the girl is happy about this situation. And it seems as though these two might rekindle and make some shit shake. Ever do a sit down video with Jazz? I can't wait. Why am I? Why? <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, but this this is giving these two going to get back together, too. She, she got already said up. she missed them. She said, who said they missed her? She said it in a video. Oh. It was the, the friendship. You know what I'm saying? The beginning of it. Oh, okay. Okay. We gonna see. I went blank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I would love to do a sit down video with Jazz. See? Like, it's no smoke with me with and love. Jazz. <laughs> will you ever do a video with Tay again? Um, people ask me that I'm all the time. I'm excited. Me too. I, I, I think I can see it later on down the line. Like later, later, I think I can. 
I feel like we both I mature to do a video. I feel like we both mature. I, like it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's going on almost three years. Mm -hmm. We broke up December of mm -hmm. 2020. It's going through. I feel like we both like y'all understand y'all. Then that whole time span, we weren't like how happy we weren't sneaky linking in. Yeah, we yeah. have not communicated, y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now they about to be sneaky linking and fucking. Mm -hmm. What y'all think? Cause I think so. It definitely about to be sneaky linking. Mm -hmm. so I feel like during that time Ooh. we have both grown. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like, yeah, I hate to tell you, but I, I know I've grown. You know what I'm saying? Not, like you gonna be my. It's just I feel like we can be definitely cool. We we be adults, cool, bro. Dude. We grown. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Too. We grown as hell. Be cordial. Nobody have no hate towards nobody. Yeah. So. Why not make the money? Right. Now, what I can say is people actually liked this couple because they were never in drama. They never had anything going on besides, you know, their arguments off camera that we did not get to see. Now, other people are saying that, you know, the reason they feel like they just sporadically just mm. ended everything was because Tay didn't really like girls. And then you got the other side saying, well, yes, she did. They were together for three to five years. Let me tell y'all something. Somebody will have an attraction to you. But it's not really who they are at that time. Maybe at that time, Tay may have liked Jazz and just got in the relationship, but that's not completely where she was. You know what I'm saying? People could have a sexual attraction to women, but relationship-wise and life-living-wise, they want to be with a man. I know a lot of people like that. And that's who people are. You can't judge them. We have so many different people in this world. But I feel people are... I always tell Honey Sauce, if she want to go back to niggas, let me know. I ain't tripping. After last night, you think I'm going back? Sorry, y'all. Let me mute. Excited about this link up, and I do think it will turn the YouTube side of the internet back up. But if we going to be messy about the situation... She got gang. <laughs> Crystal wasn't true. I couldn't even think the same, eat the same B word. I'm going to make your chest cave in. Then she says a B word going to go back to what she used to know when she knows she can't F with nothing over here. That's all I'm going to say. Then someone calls Crystal bitter. Crystal responds with bitter for what? I get N words. I ain't mad over no F and dyke. <laughs> oh, yes. You see Damn. Uh, now nah, she a dyke. Okay, uh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Then she posts photos from a club that they were at when they had a sign saying your ex could never. She states, anyways, life's great. My favorite birthday signs, Libra. So I'm pretty sure people were sending this to Jazz. Jazz went on to tweet, it is what it is. Go be mad about it. Cry to God, not me. Crystal Ooh. responds with, Keep it cute before I tell who really be crying. Then she also says, she Probably beefing with me because I went outside and found a better N-word. My fault. You should have played with the B-word who couldn't do better. Someone responds with, Crystal, you ain't found nobody better than her. You really want to cry. Crystal responds with, cry for what? B-word, these mm -hmm. are Chanel tears. So Tay just gracefully posted a video of her and a dog laughing. And, and it's just funny. People be getting mad at the new girlfriend i love tay's responses to everything i will say she is a classy responder boyfriends when they attack the exes but shit like this be happening it's kind of funny now y'all want to do a hot seat and rekindle things and shit cool after mm -hmm. her and crystal break up just like erica now y'all mysteriously cool and can co-parent but when he was with Bambi, oh it was just a whole lot of whole lot of going on crystal wasn't tripping baby she wasn't tripping Oh, it's just a whole lot, whole lot of going on. It's just a whole lot, whole lot going on. That house is just... Stay away from that house. If it ain't about me, let's keep in this case. Next on the docket, we got Corey and Corey. Now, y'all... <laughs> these two... Get on my nerves. Be, <laughs> these two be up to no good, baby. You hear me? up to no good they removed each other from their instagram profile oh yeah i forgot cory moved to uh miami oh. and cory <laughs> went out for funny mike's birthday and when he returned carmen had moved all of her and the kids stuff out of the house finally bro i got my house 
You know, even though I'm gonna go get another house. But I finally got my shit, man. I came home. I, I, I let the motherfucker had no idea what it is, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker knew what it was, and I ain't bullshit. And yeah, camera baby. Nigga finally free, man. This shit feel good. This shit feel good. A nigga finally free, man. God damn, bro. The holding me back, the manipulation, boy. Nigga finally fucking free, man. Y'all don't understand, like y'all might hit to the joke. But it hit different from when it's real life versus, you know what I'm saying, social media. So this shit finally real, boy. I'm finally at gold, boy. I, I, I finally can. I still got to hold on to a little shit because these motherfuckers still. But I'm finally free, bro. Y'all fuck. Y'all don't understand, bro. These niggas don't understand what just happened. I love y'all. I know y'all. I, I we know you want to go out, mm -hmm. give out some community dick, um, go get with a bunch of bitches who just want your money, and um, you have fun, man. You know what I mean? Hello, y'all. I wish him the best. I hope you stay safe, and I uh, hope you don't know nothing jump on that dick. You got that okay. confused, but no, 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 be confused, nigga. I'm finally free, bro. I ain't saying women don't be causing a little distress. That ain't what I'm saying, but what I am going to say is um, he been acting like he want to be free for so long, and then when he get free, he always go back. So, yeah, we're going to see. I don't got to take care of nobody no more. This shit's ridiculous. Now, y'all know damn well these two didn't motherfucking break up. Y'all, uh, come on. Y'all be really about the situation. I just think they're moving from Texas. Now, we're going to get there. Let's just go back to the beginning. So, they unfollowed each other on social medias, right? Mm -hmm. They unfollowed each other, whatever the case may be. Woo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, CJ has been seen with this new mysterious woman who's now allegedly his assistant. I'm just saying. I'm letting you know. You know how you get, you get goofy. Look at that skyline. Mm -hmm. GTR. What, what was that? Some of my face still? Right here? No. So now after people saw Girl, her touching his please. face on that Instagram live, Corey quickly <laughs> had to go and clear things up. I thought I could meet a great ass assistant. Not clearing things up. We don't need clear things. Now I have me a 24 hour assistant guy that's always with me, making sure my life goes great. Yeah. She's amazing. So Corey stated that this girl is his assistant for 24 hours a day. So does that mean she's going to be moving in with him? Now she's been trying to keep it on the low. I mean, Corey was recording a video. You can see her in the background here trying to move out of the camera's way, but she was spotted. So this is Corey's assistant. No fucking assistant, nigga. Assistant. Now, when they were on Instagram Live, Corey did introduce her. Yeah, we're in ground mode, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah oh, God, we in straight ground mode. That's all. You feel me? I'm saying, you got a hot. I'm not assistant. She don't like being free. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you work for me now. It's over. You got to see. Members. Corey has now said he is moving to Miami. Y'all hear me? Corey said he's moving to Miami. So, Corman is moving too. So what do you do? Play it off like we broke up. Um, follow each other. Get these views up. I'm with another woman right now. Like she's my assistant, whatever the case may be. But the gag is Corman's just moving her stuff to Miami. And y'all are out here thinking that they done broke up and she done moved on and whatever the case may be. I don't ever believe this fuck no. shit. I think from time to time she let him do what he wants to do as well. Mm -hmm. No, until I see the board papers. Uh huh. Yep. Listen, you want to look who you right now? Me too, nigga. Okay. So you go ahead and do you and let me do me. And mm -hmm. y'all you when you ain't getting back. Here. Until we see the board papers, they together. Period. But then the gag is. Corey is saying he wants to travel, he wants to do this, he wants to do that, but Corman can't do it. Like, they just feel a tease. So this was kind of got me on the fence. Like, well, damn, they really break up or they not? Because Corey is saying he want to travel, he want to do this, and Corman can't do that because she is an illegal immigrant. 
Okay. He, yeah. Okay, now that's a different conversation. Come he said now. in his last life that he wanted a girl that he could travel with because Carmen couldn't leave the country. Corey said she couldn't. Maybe she can't get a passport <laughs> because she's not a citizen. Another person states the fact that well, they made the Prince family her. seem crazy when exposing she wasn't a citizen and they wasn't lying this whole time is crazy. Now, Corey didn't actually mm. say why Carmen couldn't leave the country, but people are assuming it's because she's not a citizen. Like I stated, the Prince family had exposed that four years ago. And then, is that why they got married? Because he was dating her? So they only got married in the courthouse? Just so they could stay together and be together and she could stay in Georgia and not be in trouble and maybe... Whoa. Georgia? If they... Right. If they married, then how the hell is she not a legal citizen? Right. That's crazy. That's why she never traveled with him because she ain't got no identification! Corey's former cameraman exposed Corey for taking all of Carmen's money, having all the money. She doesn't have access to anything. When well, now Corey is stating, it appears that Carmen may have went to one of his friends to borrow Let me money. tell y'all something, man. Damn. When you go borrow money from your new friend and don't even tell your you don't even you don't even ask your I told I told y'all a long time ago that he keeps all the money. <clears throat> y'all, some women don't have an issue with that. She is one. But the day that I say you can't have this card would be the day that it would be a motherfucking problem. But not only that, <clears throat> thank God for more channels, more money, shit like that. Because she gonna have to have money in her account, especially for shit like this. What? We don't have nowhere near all the money that they have. Ain't no way in the fuck I'm making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a month and I don't put money in her account. It's no way. Can y'all imagine asking a nigga for a burger? And y'all are millionaires? What? Oh, because I will never forget when Chris, Queen asked Chris if she could get some Tupperware. I wish I could find that fucking video. It pissed me off so bad. She said, baby, can we get some Tupperware? He said, no, not right now. Tupperware? Baby then went back, Lord. Because what the f No, y'all, we just starting to make like... First of all, we about to... St first of all, listen. The, ba the bag is about to go through the roof. Period. But so is her bank account. Ain't no way in the fuck... She gonna be walking around here with no money. If she if she got a flat tire while she not with me, who she gotta call? Me. But can you imagine waiting on the money for that? Baby, I just got a flat tire. All right, wait till I get there. Why the fuck would she have to do that? <laughs> I'm coming, but damn, she already have her own money to handle whatever she need to handle. I just, I would never. Girl, you ask your nigga friend for the bread and you don't pay him back? Let y'all have y'all women different nowadays. I guess y'all can do it. And then, oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what pisses me off the most, y'all? When we've seen these niggas go from $20 to millions and they act like this now. <sighs> it just, it's mind boggling to me. Y'all, we watched all these niggas be broke as hell, okay? With raggedy ass teeth, and I'm saying that because okay. everybody got pearly whites now. Niggas had raggedy ass teeth. Third it up. We was broke as hell working at a factory. Now I made a million dollars today. Okay. And you acting like this. Can you imagine your girl being broke and then ask your nigga for money and then don't pay him back? Bitch, you gonna pay him back. 
I shouldn't even have to ask him. He knew that money wasn't coming back. That boy should have said, boy, your wife just asked me for some money. Boy, go ahead and give it back because you know she ain't giving it back. But I had to give it to her because she ain't had no fucking money. You know okay. what I'm saying? So why the fuck she ain't got no money? Why well, I'm telling you. she even come to and me And nigga, in the first if, place? She, if she take his ass out, excuse me, if she divorce him, she get half anyway. Is she really married to him? I just... Karma, if this shit is real, if you don't divorce this nigga, so you can go ahead and get half of that bag. I don't, I don't understand it. What is the, what is the, what do we have to beg people for money for? Girl. Okay. What, it do. what I'm not getting is. And he think it's cute till he had to give up half that bag. Uh-huh. Carmen shouldn't have to go to your friend, Corey, to borrow money because you should be giving her money because she has two of your kids huh. plus she has her own channel Wasn't which she should be making money from but now if they have it set up where all the money is going to one account then carmen wouldn't have access to those funds oh my mm -hmm. God. okay go ahead we just did it <gasps> this is messy well child we gonna see how this play out i'm telling y'all she gonna end up being in miami with him I think it's a good move for them to get up out of Houston and get to Miami. No, Carmen, you better run, girl. You better run, girl, because when he get in Miami, that's a new breed of women, baby. <laughs> Just Any because she's married doesn't mean that she's not an immigrant. She has to actually take a, a, a test mm. to become a citizen of the U.S., I'm going to tell y'all right now, any dick that belongs to the community, the community can have that dick. And clearly, if, if her, all her paperwork ain't together, she can't divorce him then, is what mm. you're trying to say. Because mm. if she go to... Girl, if she go to court, she going straight back to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. She get deported. Oh! So she can't really divorce him. I don't know about now. I think she could divorce him. She but probably she could, to... and her ass would get deported yeah. right then and there. Yeah. She better take that test right then and there. Well, her <laughs> best bet is to shut the fuck up, huh? Uh, mm. They be asking you, like, shit, like, how many stars are on the fucking stuff? Oh, uh, Lord, like, y'all. Who was what our president? Never mind. Like, well, I was like about that. to say, she should have definitely been took the shit for sure. This is absolutely yeah, her fault. Absolutely. But yeah, she's going to be fucked. All persons born in Puerto Rico on or after January 13, 1941 and subject to okay. the jurisdiction of the United States are citizens. Well, she's a citizen then. Right. So what are they talking about? Oh, then? Puerto Rico is the United States. Right. Completely forgot. So y'all, maybe she thinking something that ain't even real. Completely could be completely thinking something that's not real. Who forgot? Is Puerto she Rico from Puerto is Rico? Is, or is she from the Dominicana? What the she hell is did Mexican? Say, I don't think girl. that that would. I gotta go back in. It. I gotta go back in the archives to see where this child really from. Content is about to content. If it ain't about me, <laughs> let's keep it. Let's go. I was getting ready to take my filming and put it on my computer so I can edit, and baby, this came up. Now we got Chris Hood versus Karina. Okay. Now, from what I gathered, trying to move real quick, K Hood is trying to manage Flo. Flo is the guy who we just Ooh. talked about previously who hit on Karina, which is her ex boyfriend. Now, Karina claims that Flo hit her up asking, hey, what's going on? What happened? How get the story? Y'all want to know why I'm fighting K? Let me tell the whole story right now. I have to explain the whole fucking story. When me and Flo got into it, Kay was so-called trying to be Flo manager and manage the fucking situation. She the one who hit me up in my DMs. Hey, um, Karina, can you call me? Call me. So I call her and explain the whole situation to her and tell her exactly what the fuck happened. She's trying to be Somebody so- Somebody let Carmen know. If she from Puerto Rico, you a citizen, right? She's a citizen. Andrew, so she's trying to help him get out of the shit. I'm trying to help her at this point, too. I'm like, you know what? If Flo wants to 
be a man, he needs to own up to the shit and say that he's sorry for what the fuck he did. And that can be that. She texted y'all, me. Like, she don't know a laws, y'all. Like, well, Flo said he gonna say this and then say this. I'm like, no, he don't need to say nothing but the truth. Because if he says anything but the truth, I'm going to go on here and I'm going to tell the exact Praise whole story you. of what the fuck happened. K wow. is the one who kept texting me about the shit. Like, she was wanting to be his manager, which is the only reason why I kept hitting her up. The only reason why I hit her up yesterday is because Flo told me he was staying with her. And I seen him make that live. I said, I don't know why you let him make that live lying, because I'm going to tell the truth now. And then that's when me and her started getting into it. She's talking something, I'm not finna knock a nigga when he down. I really don't care. I really don't care. Bitch, if you didn't care, why the fuck did you hit me up from the beginning? I don't even know you, bitch. I don't even know you. I don't know you from a can of fucking paint. Why you keep trying to speak on my life like I haven't been? Bitch, I've been on you for five minutes. And that ugly, unfurned. Livy, if you tell me karma drop one more time, friend, I'm going to come through this computer, okay. look at you in the eye, and tell you to go in the fucking corner. He needs to go in the corner right now. I know she dropped. I heard you. Orange stash house, bitch. You talking about my apartment, bitch? My house look better than yours. I, I don't give a fuck. I'd be a millionaire, bitch, and I still want to buy the house you stay in. That shit is ugly as fuck. And it's unfurnished as a motherfucker, bitch. Your couch is un. So I don't really know where him. I mind my business. You hear me? I'm a mind, I'm a, I'm a real mind my business ass bitch. <laughs> now, I fought with folks. Friend, she copyright. Okay, so anybody that wants me to react to Carmen, she copyrights. It's a no, honey. Kiana J, copywriter. Uh, uh, what's her name? Carmen. Copyright. Carmen and Corey. Copyright. Corey. Copyright. I don't react to them folks. It just so happened that he he got alive in there. That's it. Folks, though, and I make sure people straight on on kick people when they down or leave folks for dead. If you ever need me, you can call me. I'm the type of motherfucking influence you to be bigger in life. So it's know, a new channel. Oh, I Carmen. see now. All about corn. Uh, it might be because of Neb. So I'm gonna tell you why. You, I'll show you in a minute. I said I fought with flow. Like just but yes. shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. Fuck yes. Bro. He been calling me and I be trying to make sure you straight. I'm 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 gonna keep your head on the swivel, even if you fucked up. I'm telling bro, hey, you did you hey, I'm telling bro straight up to myself, like, hey, I need you to fix this situation. I've been trying to sign you. And he know this. Every fucking every other day we talk about this music shit. And you know I don't really like I've been trying to take that real seriously. And I don't really play. And if you know I've been trying to sign people, bitch, I've been trying to sign people. And I I done put down money for this shit. When that boy come to Atlanta, when he come to Atlanta, and he got a motherfucking, and he, whenever he come to Atlanta, he doing music, he doing songs, he doing this, he working. Bitch, I'm not one of them friends. If you come around me, lally gagging. You gonna get in the studio or you gonna- Lally gagging. Yeah. That's just what it was. I've been trying to sign, bro, for like months. Since he fuck, I've been trying to sign, bro, because I know that he can do that shit. I know he can be bigger than this bullshit he be putting himself through. It's just that simple. Push come to shove. She know I've been trying to sign, bro. If you if you fuck with him enough, you know I've been, I've been trying to sign him. Everybody know I've been trying. You feel me? We got it. So there now, yeah. when the shit came out about him, you know what I'm saying, beat by boop, booping his bitch, mm -hmm. I call him. Hey, fix this. I'm balling up contracts, bitch. You gotta fix this. Cause I can't I can't fuck with nobody with that type of image. You gotta. She from Alabama. Fix this. I believe. Oh. Yeah. Beat by boop. I'm literally telling, bro. Hey, fix this. My mom just said I can't fuck with you until you fix this. But I hold on know that because I'm she's like I'm supposed to tell her everything. Hey, I told Flo that if he don't fix the thing with you guys' relationship, I can't sign him. But straight up, when the shit had happened, I'm a real bitch. I'm gonna go get both sides. I hit Shadow up on Instagram, call me. She told me all that terrifying ass shit. Get what I told Shadow. You need a room? You need this, you need that. Hey, I'll give you this. You straight, I'm gonna help you. You feel me? I'm offering help, bitch. I know I know about domestic violence and I ain't with it, because y'all know I'd have been through some bullshit. I'd have been through some bullshit. You hear me? She more mad at me for not helping helping them cancel flow. Oh, I'm not finna help nobody down a nigga that I done been around too much. The fuck? If anything, I'm gonna help you fix your mistakes. Hey, bitch, like, look, you went wrong right here. I ain't finna just, you went wrong. Ugh, let's kick him. No, bitch, you went wrong. And I scraped her toe flow. I called him a bitch too, bitch. Uh-uh. Like, okay, she was she hit you first, which is what she told me. She hit that nigga first. I, I ain't gonna even like, hey, and we, we always be fighting. I ended up batting him in this shit because I seen the bitch calling his phone. And, and, and that's what you told me. So as soon as you told me that you bat him in his shit, I started reversing all this shit. Oh, she bat him in his shit. He got his lick back. He got two minutes licks back. So I went over there and told him, bitch, you know, bitch, you know you wrong. You beat that girl because, like, you ain't, I ain't gonna just sit up, sit up there. I can't even sit up there and say he just beat the girl. You got two minutes licks back. But you got two minutes licks back. Like, you got two minutes licks back. Two minutes licks back. And I straight up said it. I'm, I'm a real bitch. I don't have to get on the internet and say, hey, friend, you're wrong. Fuck you. I don't have to do that because, number one, 
Regardless, I'ma still, I'm, I'ma win whether I hang or not hang. Is what a bitch don't understand. I built this shit off the ground by who self. Oh hello. So the bitch really wanted me to just like help her counsel this nigga. Nobody really cares about some some some. Fast forward all that, I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. What the fuck? Yeah, fast forward, I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck him? This, this fuck, he called my fuck phone. Yeah, I really don't have nothing to do with nothing with this shit. I literally just wanted to sign flow. And, uh, but she reminded me of fucking Chucky. The bitch is Chuckisha. I'm like, why are you telling <laughs> me that you're toxic? As soon as I met her, she's like, yeah, we're toxic. I be beating his ass. You told me this. I your Chuck face, Isha. bitch, when I first met you. I'm like, ooh, yeah, I don't play with my hoe like that. I'm telling y'all, ooh, I don't play with my hoe. Ooh, she be fine, you. Chucky. You Girl, you should have your chin in a bitch. I'm not feeling what? I'm, I'm straight up telling y'all, oh, y'all toxic. Y'all different from us. That's to do you know what I'm saying? So, Chucky. I'm already knowing y'all go through shit. So, I'm not the type to sit up there and hop on the internet and act like y'all don't even, y'all been bumping. And everybody know that. Y'all been fighting. Y'all been head bunning each other. Bitch, don't put me in that and don't play with me because I stay in Atlanta and I'm not with all that. Like, I'm not I'm not with all that. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> make y'all think I, leave, I, like, I even give a fuck. So, yesterday, I guess Flo went live. She texted my phone and said, I don't know why you let him do that because he really finna go to jail now. Let a grown-ass man that's not in Atlanta in my house do what? Mm. Dude, let, let him. Bitch, she had like, I took a nigga off the leash and said, yo, I ain't take that nigga off no leash, bitch. He doing what he want to do, saying what he want to say. Okay. Bitch, you, you been bashing a nigga for seven days. I would have had to say something too. Okay. You been bashing a nigga mm. for seven days, bitch. You ain't got... Uh, talk about something else is how I feel. We got to come up with another discussion. <laughs> you know, fuck. So she got to talk too much shit. Bitch, I'm going to do this. I bitch, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the text message just like, bitch, I called her phone. I had to look her in her face to make sure she said that. I called her phone. I said, Corinna, who you talking to? Get what the bitch said. You okay? That's all I need to hear. I'm, I'm, I woke up this morning want to play a bowl because I know that's what she say. Bitch. Y'all, Yo, I didn't see this. Oh, World Up Chaos Spoken Part 2. Ooh, I woke up on a playable. That's what had happened. So, child, as y'all. No, nah, that's a different one. Oh, and this. The show did. I heard, I guess that's what made we it. We gotta big. go get us blood. I'm about to look it up. Right <laughs> what's going on now? Because she let the man stay there. He went live, live. She got pissed. They start changing words. Talking about dyke. This ain't no. I don't wanna fight no dyke. And Fritz tilt him. Baby, then it got to the fight. Okay, no, not on my channel. Uh -uh, we can't do it. Sorry, y'all. Eh, eh. Okay. Hey, I'm here. And I'm and, and for the live, for, for future references, I didn't pull up for her. I pulled up for that player bowl. Because I got my player bowl, too. Bitch telling me to come in her apartment. I'm not going to come through that motherfucking glass windshield. Is no, baby, I did not see her with that bowl in her hand. That's what I'm saying. That's a whole different one. She never showed the bowl. She did show the bag, but she didn't show the bowl. We done missed something. You trying to lock me in there, bitch? The hoe was trying to And then to she about to up. eat it. I we down, like, I don't know if Korean was throwing more. My point is she didn't have all this energy at first. So maybe she did it again. Because this is part two. Marshmallows with. It wouldn't affect the shot. Shot it down still look perfect. You hear me? Oh, this? Okay. I look shot in her face. I said, perfect. This is so stupid. Like, why I you ain't fight perfect. me? Because I, I can't even do all the shit. She did. You should have fought me. When I, you should, I, would be, I was your best bet. <clears throat> yeah, because I, I really want to see this. Because I feel as though that maybe maybe it was wrong. It, well, it, it, it is low-key wrong that they outnumbered you. But um, I, I just personally feel as though it should be. Kay's going to keep the same energy when your people show up. I don't. I feel like Kay is going to try to pull out that gun and get trigger happy, honestly. Mm. Just you like, don't think she's going to come outside? Just not, like she was trying to do this time with, when she pulled up with two motherfuckers. And then, like I said, Kay cannot be trusted. She told me she was by herself. She basically set me up for real, for real. Because I told you her. You got I the messages? Because I'm by myself. You got the messages and stuff? No. What she did, she had day, her other her other girlfriend called me, but she pulled up with a bitch that she was cheating on her with. What? Oh, yeah. That's why Day is on Kay ass now. Oh, shit. And day is remember the day I came to her house, which is her ex girlfriend, mm -hmm. or the current girlfriend. Ex, that she's still entertaining because she's the one who called. K day is the one who hit me up like K is outside, go outside. I'm like, okay, I'll go outside, but is she by herself. She like, um, yeah, she just told me she by herself, which is why I, I so I go out there and I see it's both of them out there. I'm like, I thought she was by yourself, and she like, 
she, I seen her take the gun out and hand her the gun. I'm like, so you bring guns down? That's what we doing? What? The fuck in the entanglement is going on. So she had the mm -hmm. nah, What the fuck she in the entanglement? But mm -hmm. the the <sighs> the ex that she was fucking with found out that she was bringing the other ex that she really wasn't fucking with, but fucking with to fight you. Mm -hmm. What the, the fuck? Now, what I will say, K Hood, that little fuck up. Y'all should have jumped that girl. If your assistant was fighting her, let your assistant fight her. But I know you had no. You know, you had a little animosity in there, too, because she was popping off at you, so I understand. Let me get my licks in. But I just don't condone jumping. I just, I don't, I don't like jumping. I think jumping is so sorry and tired. I don't... Girl, her ass shouldn't have went outside, y'all. Just point blank, period. I, that child would have been there to get a player bowl, and that was it. I'm mm -hmm. not going out there. And I don't know who you with. You got your iron on your eyes too. Like jumping. Now, if your girl would have stopped and then you like, bitch, get up. Now you fight it. I get it. But Karina, is your face not tired? Okay. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I can't yeah. I'm sorry. Let me heal. I'm not going to be in these streets doing this and doing that. I, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be in those streets. Let yeah, ain't no way I'm fighting with a broke nose. What? Uh, her face ain't tired yet. That's crazy. So, bitch, I'm, I'm still bruised up. So now I guess uh, Karina family finna come and handle some shit. Whooping yada yada yada. Baby, at this point, it is what it is. They all need to get up. Is this Houston? Because if this is the case, they need Jesus no, out there. Fall the fuck <laughs> up. Oh my God. God, my God. Well, y'all gonna keep an eye on this. I don't know what's gonna happen. But Karina, I don't know, baby. I don't know. I I, I, I don't know. Okay, so Hood said that you told her they was toxic, that you was toxic, y'all. That shit was this, and you be beating his ass. And maybe that's what the other folks were saying when they was like, you ain't as innocent as you seem. And from the looks of it, all this shit just going on. Y'all, Netflix increased their prices again. Over it. Bitch, why the premium plan $22? Oh, I'm sick of that. Yeah. Gonna pop out, maybe. Man, I, Let me go on and edit this. We gonna have. I gave y'all what I could give you, what I could scrounge up real quick. But baby, Lord, how much? This is a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. Mm -hmm. It ain't about me. Let's keep keeping it. Child. Woo. Y'all went say sad for hour thirty. Listen. Y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. You dig what I'm saying? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Shabam.